All afternoon, didn't get a whole lot better easy, there. Easy, easy, easy. Here we go now. Blue 45. They'll run it again with Yeldon. And some room to work. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. It was a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Counter, it's Yeldon, and not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Devon House in there to make the stop. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Here we go. Now they'll throw it. Bortles complete the tight end Rivera. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Packers pick it up. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this job. They need points. Big time. They'll run it now out of the gun. No gain on the play. It'll be... Second down. So second and ten here. from Texas A&M, Kristen Michael. He lost two there, and it's third down. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Throwing his Rodgers on Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. The Pro Bowler, Calais Campbell, in there to drop him with his first sack of 2016. On now is Mason Crosby, who's hit from as far as 58 in his career. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. So make it two missed field goals for him now, but I have the sense, given that distance, you could probably forgive him here on this one. Yeah, this is out of the range of just about anybody on planet Earth, except probably you, partner. <laughs> but you just got to drive it out low and hope that somehow you hit it absolutely perfect. But no real chance for this one to go through. T.J. Yeldon. Acott's right sideline in some space. Touchdown, Jaguar. T.J. Yeldon with now three week one touchdowns. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. And that stretches the lead to 27. 
And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Now a give. It's Michael. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Back now in Jacksonville. it across the 40-yard line. And when an offense is doing a nice job selling the play-action pass, a lot of responsibility shifts to the linebackers. They're the ones that have to determine run or pass and get to the proper places on the field. Now a play fake here on first down. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he's brought down. throw. Caught left side by Cobb. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. It'll be a pickup of 12 yards. And that'll make it a second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed. And they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Trying to hit the tight end, Bennett, but it, defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Now, that was a beautiful play, a pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, partner? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Amper, Sam? I like it. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Try again after the pick six. And over the middle to the tight end, Bennett. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Quick, quick, jump out! Check, 
Check, check, check. Nine, nine, nine. Three, nine, three, nine, three. Rogers to throw on second down. This is Cobb with a catch right side. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, the speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Now Rodgers. And Rodgers intercepted a third time. It's picked up by the rookie, Miles Jack. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. The play clock's running down. They'll toss it to Yeldon. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. Here's Bortles to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. 18 yards there and a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Bortles going to give to Yeldon. It'll go as a gain of 10 there. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. Well, I'd say that run's pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, this offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why there are points up on the board. And right now, the psyche of the offense, we're in control, and we can do whatever we feel like doing out here on the field. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. They come out here in the eye. Now Bortles will give to Yeldon, and they'll stop him right on the midfield stripe. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys... Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On third down, yelled it. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year week one you had the fly over the big american flag out there before the game all the hoopla just having football back so special it is an opening day opening